What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to stay safe throughout the coronavirus pandemic starting right now. What's going on, YouTube? This is Mustafa Love from Hearthstone Media. Thanks for tuning in again, but if this is your first time checking out the channel, please think about hitting the like or subscribe button to be notified the next time we make a video like this. I promise you that your spouse will not murder you and feed you to some wild cats if you hit the like or subscribe button. Or maybe she will if you don't. It's your call. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So guys, we're gonna jump straight into it. Cut to the chase. Five tips how you can keep yourself safe throughout the coronavirus pandemic, and we're going to start right now with rule number five. Rule number five is stop getting all of your information from social media. Now, I don't know if it's something in a human genome code or just human nature or something like that, but human beings seem to have this thing I like to call the thirst to be first. They have some type of inner desire to be the first one to bring some information to your table. And I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. When Kobe Bryant sadly passed in a tragic helicopter accident, I heard from four different people that not only did Kobe Bryant die, that all of his children perished in the crash with him. Now, for one, it started my brain kind of churning because I was like, that, that just doesn't really sound right because I knew Kobe had a newborn baby. And I was like, why would Kobe be on a helicopter with his newborn baby without his wife? That just made absolutely no sense. But I heard from four separate people that him and all of his children perished in that plane crash, which we all know now was not true. Now, why did those people feel the need to run and give me some false information? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but they did. Funny thing is, they could have all got the information from the same source and then all came to give it to me wrongly so don't get your information from social media guys because that's not where to get it and i'm gonna tell you where to get your information from we're gonna go with number four for that so rule number four guys remember what i said in rule number five about not getting all your information from social media so rule number four is don't listen to me i'm just another asshole on social media trying to tell you how to stay alive and keep yourself safe during the coronavirus pandemic Listening to me is the equivalent of animal here telling you that spraying lights all in the air when somebody coughs is going to keep you safe. Now, that might actually work. That I don't know. But you willing to bet your life on it? I think not. So rule number four, don't listen to me either. Rule number three is going to be very simple. And I'm going to put it to you as simply as I can. Read shit. Yes, I said it. Read shit. Don't listen to people on social media. Don't listen to me either. Read and find out the relevant information that you need to keep yourself safe. Look up the information. Get credible sources. Go through the actual information to figure out the best ways to protect yourself and protect your family. You cannot get that information 30 or 40 characters at a time on a Facebook post. You cannot get that information 165 characters at a time on a Twitter post from, uh, that's for another rule. So what I'm saying is do your homework, do your due diligence, formulate your own opinions, your own basis, because when it all boils down to it, you have to look yourself in in the mirror and you have to face your family when you or one of them fall ill and you do not want that smoke where you're looking at your wife or your daughter or your child and you're saying well i got sick because i was listening to something that donald trump said in a tweet i, I don't think you want that on your conscience because i wouldn't want it on mine so again rule number three read now, coming in at rule number two, remember what I said about not listening to people on social media in rule number four? Don't listen to me. I'm just another asshole on social media trying to tell you how to stay alive and keep yourself safe during the coronavirus pandemic. This time, you want to listen to me. Because you have to know when to separate the real from the fake. You have to know when and who to listen to about what. You can't believe all conspiracy theories, but you can't believe that a conspiracy theory couldn't be true. That is one thing that a lot of people are missing out on. Some people like to get stuck on the fact that, well, there's no way that this could be this way. But that's not wrong. Thinking that 
is something is not possible is the beginning to your end. Always believe that something is a possibility. Do not let somebody tell you that all news is fake news. Do not let Trump or Rush Limbaugh or whoever is spouting that talking point get you to believe that all news is fake news. Now, yes, news can be very sensationalized because news is a business. So broadcast journalism can a lot of times be skewed. It can be bent. It can be twisted. The strings can be pulled. We all know what that can be. But a lot of times investigative journalism is a different story. People stake their whole careers on investigative journalism and they put their name and their stamp behind the things that they investigate. So some of those things have to be taken with validity. So now, again, watching the news, getting a 30 second clip of a story is not the same as reading that story. So that piggybacks off of the last rule. Read stuff. It's one thing to hear a snippet of some investigative journalism on TV or reading that actual story, which could be pages upon pages long. A lot of the real details are missing in those moments. So, again, piggybacking off of read stuff, piggybacking off of don't listen to people. Don't listen to the wrong people. Know who to listen to. But again, always go back and do your homework. And now on to rule number one. Now, rule number one, guys, this may upset some of you. I understand. I understand if you have political affiliations or if you have political ideologies or political beliefs. But when it comes to keeping yourself safe, your family safe, keeping you and your loved ones alive, I implore you. Don't listen to this dude. Because, again, listening to him is the equivalent of listening to him. And I mean that wholeheartedly. When it comes to life and death matters, when it comes to keeping yourself safe, your family healthy, I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him for whatever reasons that you do. I'm not saying that you shouldn't vote for him or support him for whatever reasons that you do. But when it comes to the safety of yourself and your family, don't listen to this dude, because this dude will have you doing something like this. Then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute, and is there a way we can do something like that? There, I've said it. Hopefully these tips was helpful. Hopefully we found them informative. Godspeed to you guys. One. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, remember you can click my face here to subscribe or here to watch more videos. And I think I'm going to get it right this time.